Hey everybody, it's Nickel and Nintendo here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm just heading over to the Northwestern Sea here because I have decided that rather than go and do one of the many side questy options that we have, I'm just going to head over to the Isle of Gust because I just feel like doing a temple, or rather trying to get to a temple, I doubt we'll start it in this part because I like to sort of um, contain the temple in a video just so that it's nice and neat and we're getting attacked by pirates, which is really not good. Um, yeah, these guys can be annoying because they're like right bang in the middle of the EMC and there's a cyclone, oh god. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, this can be a little bit of an awkward spot. But um, here we are at the Isle of Gust. So let us start exploring and working our way to the temple. So yeah. Phew, we finally made it to the island, but this is sure this is this is sure one gusty isle. Yep, surely has got to be the Isle of Gust. No shizzle, Sherlock. Alright, cool. Isle of Gust, beware of great winds! Yes indeed. So as all the way while you're trying to make your way through this island, you're going to be blown away every so often. Which isn't very fun when you're trying to do a jump attack. And then you get just totally blown into the water. Which is not good because, um, Link cannot swim at all. So let's just jump over here when the wind is not blowing, preferably. And try and get through here. Now there's tons of mini winds here. Oh, that was just what I said I shouldn't do, and I did it. I d again! <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, tons of mini blends, and these guys are really good for dropping red rupees. So, like that, very nicely timed. Um, so when you see some, be sure to fight them. You know, get some cash built up, although we have a fair amount of cash. One, 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 one rupees. Oh, which is quite cool. Get out of here, please. Oh. No rupees? Okay, I was gonna say, surely the chances are. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, wind. That is not where I wanted my bomb to go. Oh, and it blew up the other one. That's just great. <laughs> Alright, get in there. Thank you. Alrighty, let's head in here, see what we've got. Pick up some hearts, preferably. That'd be really nice. Alright, cool. Uh, Link? Wayfarer's Journal. You never know where the wayfaring winds will take you next. After months upon this windy isle, I discovered smaller islands nearby. But there is still one mystery that eludes me. The magnificent mermaid. That is where my wayfaring destiny te takes me next. Alright, whatever. So this is actually marking, um, or showing you where the hidden islands are. Um, we've obviously been to um, the bottom right one already, which was, of course, the Uncharted Island. So yeah, we don't really need to pay attention to this, but that's, I suppose, how you're supposed to find out about them without finding it yourself. So we get another Courage Gem here, which is pretty nice. We're going to be getting a ton of gems and maps here, there's so many, like there's a ridiculous amount. But um, let's just wait for the wind to start blowing here and then we can make a run for it to jump over these gaps. And more mini blinds, come here, give me some rupees. Rupees? Anyone? Anyone at all? No? How about you? Thank you! Okay, we also got some little patches we can dig up here. I think these are just red rupees as well, but, you know, even so, a red rupee is pretty darn welcome. So I think that's all of them. Yeah. Alright, cool. So let's just head into this cave. Ah, something else I should mention, I'm actually um, playing this with a new stylus that I bought. Um, I actually bought the Spirit Tracks Feather Stylus. Um, oh, careful now. So I know there was one for Phantom Hourglass, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so I bought the um, Spirit Tracks one, and it is so beautiful. It comes in like this rupee case, and it's just amazing. So I'm using this to play 
fun to work less with now and it makes it so much better, it really does. But anyways, for killing all the mini blooms in here you can get a treasure map, which is pretty cool. And in here, a wisdom gem, which is our first wisdom gem I think, or the first one that I have anyway. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Told you we'd be getting a lot of stuff here. I mean, it's crazy. Choose, come on now, this is just getting old. So let's use the wind to get up here. Oh, careful now. Oh, right, dig this up. Oh my goodness me, that big green rupee. <laughs> okay, cool, that's totally fine. Come on, wind. Huh. All right, cool. More of you? Really? Man, I've gained like over 300 rupees since I've gotten to this place. It's so awesome. Oh, Chu's really getting old now. Alright, well up here is actually the entrance to the temple, but it's blocked because we can't fight our way through the wind. Um, and this map shows us where we have to go, so I suppose we might as well put an X on the map because drawing on the map is fun and just really satisfying. So I'll be doing it, even if it's not particularly necessary. It's just something I like to do. So let us head north. Whoa, get out of my way. All right, cool. That's actually where we can come out later. Uh, when we've done the stuff up the top. Actually, no, there's two exits, what am I saying? Never mind, I'm just, never mind, okay. All those spots on the ground look like they were shoveled in with dirt. Hint, hint, use your shovel. So yeah, you can reveal um, gusts of air or stop the air with your shovel, which is quite cool. I almost attacked. Can you attack them with your shovel? You totally can. That is amazing. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, up here we have a treasure chest, so let us grab it. I don't know if this is something important. Oh, it is. Oh, it's the power gem. Of course it's the power gem. I totally knew that. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, whatever. So many gems. So many gems is. Right, oh careful. Ugh, that wind. That wind. I'm guessing we'll have to go up this one. Yep, that's what I thought. There is no fooling me. And I believe we have to cover this one up. Yeah, there we go. I remember a lot more about this place than I thought I did. I hear we have another big green rupee because we totally need more rupees, right? Anyways. Up here. The hero must blow on the three sacred windmills to open the path forward. Okay, more microphone stuff. Right, so let's just mark uh, these on our map so we know which ones to go to. That top one is going to bother me <laughs> if I don't redraw it. Oh, I'm so bad for that. Okay. Oh, and coming up we have a really scary enemy. <laughs> well, it's not... It's me just being a bit of a wimp again, but... Oh my goodness, it's like tremors up here. So <laughs> if you run on the, the ground, this guy will come and chase you and it's absolutely terrifying. For me, anyway, boyoing. Creatures that are sensitive to sound dwell in the sands ahead, so walk without sound and bring as little attention to yourself as possible. If all else fails, flee to a high spot before the creatures find you. Oh, it's so scary. It's, oh, hello. Okay. So basically you have to walk really, really slowly. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no 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 Oh right. <laughs> Except walking slowly apparently just doesn't work. I guess you have to walk even slower. Oh the sand creatures devour whatever they find, so feed them bombs, at least you'll, then you'll have a chance at survival. Right, so get him out, throw a bomb, he'll eat it, and that is what's underground. It's horrible, and then it explodes. It's just like, ew. Where are you? Oh, hello! Oh no! Okay. I just want to get rid of some of these, you know? Heat bomb. Okay, let's make a run for it. <laughs> right, okay. Let me just take another bomb. Oh, you can have that then. Cool. That's a dead end. Excuse me. Right. Uh, it's not this one, it's the one below. Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Oh, no. Oh, Link, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so disgusting. All right, let me get a heart back here. 
Heart. Thank you. Right, let's um blow that. Right, now if we actually sneak extremely slowly and walk down here, there is a treasure chest which contains something very important. Alright, cool, we made it. Another treasure map. Yep, another one. This is in the southwestern sea. So let's just be very quiet. Be very quiet. Be very quiet. Okay, cool, cool. We don't need to use this one though. Now let's grab a oh, grab a bomb. Okay, I think I'm I think I've worked out the speed so that they don't appear. Although this is hellishly slow. I'm just gonna run. Oh no 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 no! Okay, phew. Come on, I'm standing in front of it. There we go. That's probably really loud. <laughs> okay. And there's one just south of it. Oh no! Craptastic. Ugh. Right, let me let me kill this guy that's around here. Hello there. Wait, what? What? He just vanished! Alright, there's something funny going on here and I do not like it. Take that. There we go. Alright, awesome. Here's the last one. And that will open these two doors. So if you're there's door in the east side and here. So whichever order you did them in, there should be a door reasonably close to you that he that you can make a dash for. And with that, I could have jumped down that ledge. Oh well. With that, we have now opened the way to the temple. So um, that is what I'll be doing in the next part. We'll do the Temple of Wind, which it is called. So yep. Thanks for watching and we'll do that next time. See you next video.